guys welcome back to my home <laughs> i know we've been zooming into my home quite frequently but thank you for visiting so if you have not watched this week's video on jacob lawrence you're going to want to do that now it is so 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 important to learn the history of this artist to understand the importance of his work so if you have not watched this week's video then please do it now if you have then come on in um, today, we are going to do a cityscape in the style of Jacob Lawrence. Um, like in this week's video, Jacob Lawrence um, moved to Harlem during the Great Migration. A lot of African Americans were moving to New York City to live a much more free and better life. And Jacob Lawrence was big on depicting African American life in the city with these bright, beautiful, loud colors. So we're going to mimic that in our drawing this week. So get yourself a nice clean sheet of paper. I'm going to hold it in landscape, otherwise known as microwave. I always say microwave, it makes it easier for you guys. Um, also, remember that I put a handout for you guys on this week's assignment. So you have plenty of buildings to choose from for this assignment. So, of course, I always draw in markers so you can see, be, see better on the camera, but you don't have to use what you have at home. So, boys and girls, when I am making my buildings, I like to have my buildings to be kind of a mix in terms of height. It makes the image look more visually appealing. It makes people want to look at it more when there's a difference in, of height in my buildings. So I'm looking at my handout for this week and I'm looking for buildings that are short, buildings that are tall, um, buildings that maybe have a point to them up top. I want to just mix it up. I want it to look different with every single building that I work on. If we're going to overlap our buildings, which that's a cool trick to do, I might not all the way finish my building yet just yet because I might want to put a building just a little bit in front of it, like so. Cities are very busy. They have all sorts of buildings interacting with one another. And of course they need windows. I probably won't color all my windows yellow because not everybody's awake during our nighttime cityscape. And again, that's a cool trick to use to build the visual appeal, making some windows black, making some yellow. A lot of cool tricks. So from there, let's see, we have some overlap going over here. Let's go ahead and make a, another building with a really cool shape on it. Let's do this one. And I'm looking at the same handout that was provided to you this week. If you guys want to make your own buildings, you can. Um, I just figured that handout would be good to boost your creative thought. And for this one, maybe I want a building to come out from behind the this one building right here. So I might make a shorter building coming out from behind it and draw on those windows as well. And let's see, we have a little bit of space here. So let's put one more, a nice tall one. Mm -hmm. like so, don't forget your windows. And you're gonna have such an easier time doing this because I am always drawing upside down for you guys during these recordings. <laughs> don't forget to think about your sky and how you want the sky to look like. Don't forget to put some stars in the sky that's going to make your um, night sky really pop, those little bursts of yellow or orange or whatever you're going to color your night sky with. 
You can put as many or as little as you'd like. I like to sprinkle it all over. And then the corner, one of the corners. I'll put a nice bright moon. And there we go, we have our drawn cityscape. Now, boys and girls, remember with your coloring tools to use a lot, a, uh, a nice wide range of color. Jacob Lawrence's uh, artwork was very bright. It had a lot of loud color. So make sure you put a nice arrangement of different colors all over your paper. Make sure you fill in your night sky so that those yellow stars really pop off the page. Really just put your all into it because really you're gonna get the best work if you fill it in with color, and do your best drawing. All right, guys, so I will see you next week. I can't wait to see how these Jacob Lawrence cityscapes come out, and I will see you then. Bye.